first thing I recommend to all of you to do just after opening your drawing is to turn on, though, and unlock all your layers so as to discover all there is in your plans. That would make the cleaning process easier for you next. Let's take a look on the layers. Well, as you can see, some of them are locked, some of them are frozen, some are turned off. And if we were to do this like one by one, trust me, especially in bigger projects that may take you a year and a half. <laughs> yeah, so we need to find a way to do it in one shot. Don't worry, we already know. We click, we go to Layer Properties, we just click on a random layer, we press Ctrl A on your keyboard and all of the layers are gonna be selected. You just go and turn on one layer, all of them are gonna be turned on. You throw one layer, all of them are gonna be thawed. You do the same to unlock all of them. Great. Now you can see what's happening in your plans. The second thing I check is the XREFs because they sometimes cause importation problems. And the way I do that is just to type the command XREF. XREF. And then you either detach or attach those elements depending on their importance for your project. In this case, I select them and, ju and just detach them. Now my project is clean. Now we need to check the units and for us to do that we need to find a reference. For example in this drawing from this point to this one we have a hundred but we don't know a hundred what. We just measure it and we're gonna find that it's one. For me I know that I'm gonna set my units to meter so I just type the command units and then enter gives me miles. I'm gonna switch to meters. Then OK decimal meter and then OK. It's done with the meter uh, with the units. After this I start isolating floors, each one in a new drawing. I select it this way and then copy it. Ctrl C. I create a new drawing and just paste it. I usually paste it in the center of my drawing because it helps not to get lost and it helps once imported to Dialogsebo. The way I paste it in the center is just to press 0, comma, 0, comma, 0, enter. It's in the center, but if you don't know where it is, whether to go this way, this way, or maybe you're just kind of lost, you just click on zoom extend and you're just here. Once pasted, you need to recheck the units again. Units. You type the command units and then see it has changed. We set it to meters again. Sometimes you copy a floor, but when you paste it, you find out that there is something missing. Well, don't be sad. It's just because the layer of the missing thing is locked. Go and unlock it. Come and see. Let's click on this car. We 
have the voucher terrace we just lock this layer let's come and copy this floor Control c we create a new drawing we paste it zeros commas no well Control v zero gamma zero gamma zero enter some extent and no cars no cars man what's wrong i have no cars in my plan well the wrong thing is that the layer of the cars is locked go and unlock it it's unlocked now let's try again we select copy create a new drawing control v zero 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 enter some extent et voila your cars are there now you need to make sure your drawing is as light as possible to increase your draw your working speed to overcome storage issues and to avoid the long saving times let's take a look at the size of the drawing before doing this we go to drone utilities then drawing properties and on here we have the size 101 kilobytes okay remember this well to reduce the size of our file we delete the duplicate objects and push to delete and use layers well let's select this drawing and click on delete duplicate objects we say okay or maybe you do the same thing but using the overkill command over kill command enter it says the same thing then we we select again and we type purge command then enter then purge all purge all items and then close now let's save and let's take a look at the size the new size of our file it's 95 now it's a meaningful reduction which means your computer is going to be happy now your drawing is now ready to get imported to dialogues but the thing is that for those who use more recent versions of AutoCAD like I do I have something to tell you dialogues Evo doesn't support the recent versions of AutoCAD let's clear things let's save this drawing to AutoCAD 2018 and 2013 either DWG or DXF and import them to dialogues for us to see let's start let's save this one to 2018 let's 2018 save let's import it to dialogues 2018 there's a problem of importation that means dialogues is just like who are you <laughs> yeah let's go and save this drawing to AutoCAD 2013 save as well 2013 let's change this one this list 2013 save okay let's go to dialogues we can load the plan on here too loading plan 2013 and you know what it's working yes and yeah now you can start your your lighting project in peace all right guys that's it for this video thank you for your precious time see you on the next one and if i helped you a little 
please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, and yeah, subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials.